Hey everyone, my name is Brian, and welcome back to my LEGO investing channel, Brick Dynasty. Amazon Prime just wrapped up yesterday, and along with that sale, many other retailers also ran large promotions and sales to compete with Amazon. These large sales can be great times to buy as LEGO investors, because we can see sales from 30% all the way up to 45%. In this video, I'm going to cover the sales we saw from Amazon, LEGO, Walmart, Target, and Kohl's. I wanted to make this video to share with anyone who missed out on the deals, but also as sort of a journal entry. So this time next year or whenever there's other Amazon Prime Days, we can look back and compare it to the sales we saw in this video and see how they add up. So let's get started. We'll start out here with Lego. Lego put a ton of sets on sale on their website. They also had the Scary Pirate Island gift with purchase for orders of $100 or more, along with the Halloween VIP add-on pack for orders of $50 or more. And on top of that, they had double insider points, which is essentially 10% back on your orders. In addition to that, Rakuten was also running 10% cash back. So just counting the Rakuten cash back and the VIP points, I mean insider points, that's 20% back on top of whatever you got for your gift of purchase and any discounts Lego was already running on the sets that you purchased, which were anywhere from 20 to 30 to 40% off. I talked about this on my channel earlier, but it was also rumored that the Mystic Witch would be a gift of purchase in the US, but unfortunately that was only a promo available in Europe. So people in the US unfortunately didn't get that gift of purchase. Alrighty, so what sets did lego.com have on sale? First up, we had the Atari 2600. This set was 20% off. This set's not retiring this year and it has been uh, discounted a couple times on lego.com, but it's still a great deal. The Hulkbuster was 30% off. It's a $550 set. This set, as you'll see later in the video, was discounted by Amazon to 45% off, which was a really crazy deal. The world map was 25% off and that set has already gone out of stock. There is a chance it will come back but it is labeled as sold out on the website. They also had the Rolling Stones on for 20% off. The Material Handler, 20% off. I believe this set also went out of stock already. The Double Loop Stunt Arena. This is a city set and they've done really poorly, so that wasn't a great set if you're buying for investing. They had the Bird's Nest. This is a really great looking set, but it's not retiring this year. That was 25% off. The Money Tree was 25% off. And Lego continued to have the mini Disney Haunted Mansion on 30% off like it's been for several months. The Defense of Hoth, this set has been 20% off since last year. So it's been maybe a good 10, 11 months on sale. The Ministry of Magic is still on sale for 30% off. It's been there for a few months. The Dagobah Jedi Training Diorama, that set was 25% off and that went out of stock by early the next morning. So a lot of people purchased these sets up and it's now labeled as sold out, not temporarily out of stock. Uh, a lot of people disagree on what these different statuses can mean on lego.com. Out of stock means it's most likely gone. There is a chance though that lego could get another shipment in and it'll be available again. But it is interesting that it's already sold out and it's only October. So it's likely that there'll be a, there will be another shipment, but it is interesting that it's labeled as sold out. The French Bulldog set is 40% off. This set has been on sale since last year as well. But if you're a collector, it's a, it's a really great deal. They have some Monkey Kid sets. The Chang, Chang Yi, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Mooncake Factory was 30% off. That set went out of stock, but then came back in for back order. The Evil Makakus Mech. 25% off and Nez has Fire Ring 25% off. Then we have the Spice Girls tribute. That set was 40% off and it's been on sale since last year as well. That set has not sold well at all. Same with St. Bernard was available last year. This Mosaic Maker has been 40% off off and on throughout the year as well. The Disney 100 Celebration still on 30% off this set has been discounted for quite a while. And as you can see here, it was back ordered. So Lego is still making new runs of this set and selling them at the discounted price, even though it seems to be selling pretty well. The Black Panther, we all know about that set. It's been 40% off for a long time. It's a terrible set. The Mako Submarine, 30% off. The Dragon of the East, 25% off. Monkey Kid set there. They had a lot of the Monkey Kid sets that are retiring this year discounted. And Monkey Kid Staff Creation, 30% off. 
Shuri Sunbird, if you saw my last video going over the superhero sets, you'll know this set is not a good for investing. But if you're a collector, it's not a bad discount when you stack up all the other promotions. The cute banana pin holder, it's a dot set. All the dot sets are retiring at the end of this year, and it's not good for investing. Only if you're a collector or interested in having a nice banana pin holder. Then we have the London Magnet, 20% off. And this was surprising. The Tuscan Raider Brickhead set was 25% off. This set also went on back order. It's not scheduled to retire this year. It's, I think it's scheduled for the end of next year. So that was good if you're a collector needing to pick up that set. The Lunar New Year display has been on sale for quite a while at 20% off. So they continued that sale here along with the Lunar New Year Parade, which is a very good looking set. I love the way this looks and they're both retiring at the end of this year with a one year shelf life. The Chinese New Year Pandas, those are 40% off. They've been on sale since the end of last year, technically retired then, but they continue to be available this year. The Iron Man Armory, I also talked about this set in my last video. It's really overpriced, but it has some nice unique figures. The Hogwarts Desktop Kit, 30% off. And the Black Panther War on the Water, another poor performer. It's a Target exclusive, but very overpriced and just has one unique minifigure, the Ironheart minifigure, and that's the only thing that carries value in this set, really. The Monkey Kids Galactic Explorer, really cool looking set at 25% off, retiring at the end of this year. Another Avatar set, the Floating Mountains, 30% off. This set has been discounted up to 50% off, I believe, at some retailers throughout its life. The Wedding Room, 30% off. But the Wedding Bride, 30% off. Those have both been on sale for a while. A classic table football here for 30% off. Not a great seller for Lego. The Moana and Merida uh, Brickheads, great deal on these. They have not been on sale yet. The Aurora, Merida, Tiana's Enchanted Creations, a terrible set for investing. Cruella and Maleficent, 25% off. Great deal on these. Have not been on sale yet, and they're Lego exclusives. The Hedwig Pencil Holder, the Hogwarts Accessories Pack, Designer Toolkit Patterns, all 30% off. And the Hogwarts Accessory Pack was 40% off. More dot sets. They had this Lego blanket on sale. The Zerg Battles, 25% off. It's retiring at the end of this year. Some dot sets. Uh, looks like a Duplo set there. The Creativity Toolbox Maker Set, that's a Super Mario set. It's kind of a creativity box with a bunch of random pieces. Turtle Protection Vehicle for Friends, 25% off. A City Stunt Set, another friend set here. Then we have Andrea's Theater School. It's a really cool looking set, really, um, for 30% off. So not bad if you're collecting Friends. Another dot set, it's a Super Mario set here that has not sold well. The Lego City Fire Brigade, it's a cool looking set if you like it collecting Lego City sets. The Training Grounds, it's been on sale a long time from other retailers. Another Super Mario set, a creative set over here. Then there were quite a few Duplo sets. So if you're an Amazon seller, these may be of interest to you. Typically Duplo does not sell well on eBay, but Amazon, it does look like some of them do well. I'm no expert on them and I'm not sure which ones do better than others. But if you're interested in that, there were several Duplo sets. You can see the train bridge and tracks, the amusement park. This amusement park set was on sale for $50, I believe, from Walmart, but we'll get to that. The Spider-Man and Friends Duplo set, some dots, and another friend set, the organic farm. A couple more Duplo sets down here, and a city set. Some more, another couple more city sets and Duplo set, dot set. These are kind of the garbage sets here at the bottom. This Technic set has been on sale a lot. Some blankets that have no investing potential and then a keychain and some more Duplo sets. So the big highlights for me from lego.com were the Monkey Kid sets and the Star Wars diorama. But you could have also bought any other regular price item, stacked it with Rakuten, the double insider points, the gift with purchase, credit card, cash back, all that wrapped up together, you could create a very nice discount for yourself, upwards of 30 to 40% off, maybe even a little bit more depending on when you sold your gift of purchase and what price it was sold at. All right, now we'll move on to Amazon. I feel like every Amazon Prime lately I've been let down. This one was 
not that great either but if you're a collector there are some really great discounts that you could have picked up some sets for so starting out here they had the architecture new york city skyline this set has been around a long time been projected to retire many times in the past but is still not retiring even this year they had to the retiring at at for 30 percent off this set is rarely discounted i haven't seen it discounted very much i believe it's going near msrp on ebay so not a bad pickup you can stack all of these Amazon purchases with your Amazon Prime card, which gives you 5% cash back. They had the Lego Duplo Town Steam Train at 31% off. The BD-1 Posable Droid, the set's retiring this year at 30% off. I don't think that sale's unheard of. It's been 30% off a couple places, I think at Best Buy. And at Walmart in-store clearances, I saw the set at 50% off. They had the Elsa's Jewelry box creation, 30% off. Not interested in this for investing. The Llama Village Farmhouse Toy. This is retiring at the end of this year for 30% off. The Super Mario House and Yoshi Expansion set for 30% off. This set has not sold well. It's been on sale quite often. Repeat of the ad out there. And then they had the ATST Raider. Back in stock, sold and shipped by Amazon. This set retired years ago and it is just a terrible performer there's a whole backstory for this set but it's not worth getting into here but they had the pickup truck which i i do not mind for investing i really like this set for investing it's an amazon exclusive not many people realize that but it has been on sale twice now from amazon for 30 percent off so that has brought some attention to this set that it hasn't gotten in the past so i think more people have picked this up for investing unfortunately they had, as I mentioned earlier, the Marvel Hulkbuster set for 45% off. Retailed for $550, you could have got it for $300. And then another 5% cash back with your Amazon Prime card. So that's basically 50% off. Really great deal on this set if you're a collector, not for an investor. It's not retiring this year. The all-terrain vehicle, also discounted here, was discounted on lego.com. Then the Thwomp drop expansion set this set also retired years ago but amazon has continued to have it in stock that was 30 percent off the temple of the endless sea 30 percent off that retired at the end of last year but amazon still got more stock in somehow and duplo wild animals of asia at 44 percent off if you like investing in duplo sets it's a great deal another city stunt set for 30 percent off the lego friends Andrea's Theater School, 30% off. This was also discounted on lego.com. So if they're both discounted 30%, you'd much rather want to buy it from Lego because you get all the gifted purchases, double insider points, and Rakuten to stack up that discount even more. And then they have the Legacy Ultrasonic Raider for Ninjago. That was retired in the middle of 2022. So it's been over a year since the set retired and it's still in stock from Amazon somehow. They're running 6% discount. And then they had the Monkey Kid Lion Guardian set for 30% off. This set retired last year as well, but it has lingered in stock on Amazon here and there. And then I missed getting a screenshot of this, but they had the Lunar Lander set for 30% off, which is a great deal. Stack that with your Amazon Prime card. That's 35% off, which is a really good deal for that set, in my opinion. A couple more sets for Amazon. They had the BTS set for 31% off. If you'll remember near the beginning of that set, set's life, it was 50% off from Walmart. So this isn't the best discount we've seen it at, but I don't think we're gonna see 50% off sales on this set anytime soon again. And then the UCS Razor Crest for 20% off, a really great deal if you're a collector looking to pick up this set. But for me as an investor, the set isn't retiring for another couple of years, so I'm not interested in picking it up. And then they also had the UCS Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder. The set was originally $200 before the price increases, so based off the original MSRP, it's only $32 off, but it's still 30% off in the set, which isn't a bad pickup as a collector. Alrighty, let's move into Walmart. They had a few sets here. I was expecting a little bit more from Walmart, so it was a little underwhelming. Their most advertised set that I saw a lot was the Batman Batmobile set. It was 45% off. If you're a collector, this is a good pickup, but as for investing, even though it's retiring at the end of this year, this set is going well under MSRP on eBay, and it's pretty hoarded, and Technic sets don't sell super fast, so it was a pass for me. They also had the 90 Years of Play classic set, 
on sale and I think they lowered this to $20 uh, the next day after I took this screenshot. And then the UCS Republic gunship, that's retiring at the end of this year on sale, $75 off its original MSRP of $400. So it wasn't quite enough of a discount for me to pick it up. But if you're a collector looking to pick this up, this is probably the cheapest you're going to see it from a pure discount perspective, unless you're buying it from lego.com and getting all these other discounts like Rakuten and Insider Points. If you just want the straight discount, then this is probably your best bet. Then the Batman Tumblr set was discounted $90 from its original MSRP of $270. This is another great set if you're a collector looking to pick it up, but it's not retiring at the end of this year. And then they have this Technic motorcycle, $30 off its MSRP of $70. Not a bad deal. I do think it is retiring at the end of this year. And then they also had the Duplo Town Amusement Park. Originally 110 discounted to 50 If you're a Amazon seller and like selling Duplo sets, this may do well for you. I'm not an expert on it, but over 50% off is not bad. And Walmart, you can place multiple orders of max quantities. For Target, they had a promotion they called the Circle Week. And it was really nothing impressive at all to me. It was just 20% off a bunch of random sets that are normally discounted. And it wasn't worth taking screenshots for me. It was really any set you could have gotten 20% off. Nothing special, so just take my word for it. I was pretty surprised. I thought we'd see maybe 30% off a Target exclusive set or something interesting, but didn't really see much there. So we'll move on to Kohl's. They had a selection of sets for 20% off. And on top of that, they're running a Kohl's cash promotion, meaning you would get $10 Kohl's cash back for every $50 spent, which is essentially a 20% discount on your sets if you count the discount at the time of purchasing. I took screenshots of the sales and I'll have them rolling through this section of the video, but nothing was super special or stood out to me. And I took the screenshots a little late, so I may have missed a couple of the sets that sold out already. I did miss the Frozen set that's exclusive to Kohl's. I didn't see that set on my screenshots here. So there were a couple ones that I missed, but you get the idea of the sets that are available here. There's nothing too special, so I'm not gonna just roll through them all. All right, so those were the five retailers I was gonna discuss in this video. There were other retailers that also ran a few sales here and there. It was nothing really worth mentioning in this video from what, in, in my opinion at least, but if you miss out on these deals, you don't need to worry. There will be plenty more opportunities to buy sets on sale during Black Friday, Cyber Monday, intermittent sales throughout this holiday period. And then at the end of the year, of course, in December, there will be more sales. Lego will run double insider points again during Black Friday. They'll also have probably an insider's weekend right before Black Friday where they put some sets on sale and do double insider points with gifts with purchases. So there are plenty more opportunities to pick up sets going forward. Until then, if you like this type of content, please like this video and subscribe. I put out Lego investing content every Monday and Thursday. And be sure to comment down below what sets you bought during Amazon Prime days from Amazon or any other retailer. Alrighty, thanks everyone. I'll see you in the next video.